coach, you guys were ahead 7-5 uh, midway through the third quarter. Uh, what changed that allowed them to come back and, and take this one? Well, they played pretty tough. I give them a lot of credit. I mean, they outground balled us by 14. I think that was the biggest part of the game. They got every ground ball, especially in the faceoffs, all the 50-50 balls they got. And uh, that's the biggest difference. And, you know, we tried to do a couple things there in the fourth quarter to get back in the game. They got a couple in the end. And, you know, so it's a little bit closer than the final score. Uh, but, you know, we got to make plays. I and mean, I don't think we did. I thought our offense, we dropped too many passes, went quicker. We weren't as patient as we needed to be. In the first half, we played at our speed. In the second half, they slowed it down. You know, we couldn't get any timer on or anything like that. And they, they played really slow and methodical and broke us down. And we just played way too much defense. And, uh, you know, I thought our goalie actually did a good job making some saves. And uh, we just made some mistakes. And that's what this tournament's about. You know, I mean, we play great teams week in and week out. And York did it. We had a much easier game against Nazareth than us. And I think that might have been a, a little bit of a factor there coming in the fourth quarter. Uh, but, you know, we still, that's no excuse. We still got to play and do and make things uh, happen. And, uh, you know, I'll give them a lot of credit. They play tough. Yeah, Coach, you looked a little, uh, on defense, you looked a little fatigued. Do you think the back-to-back -back games had, had anything to do with that? Well, I think that we couldn't get any ground balls in the fourth quarter. You know, you know and they, they had the ball like the whole time, and we couldn't get any timers on. And then when you play slow like that, we thought the timer ons were going to be a lot quicker like they were in the other seven games, and they just weren't in that game. So, But it is, it is what it is. We have to adjust. we got to do a better job. And uh, so they, we played a lot of defense in that fourth quarter. We probably only played like three or four minutes of offense, and we, we can't let our defense out like that. We'll be better. We'll learn from it. You know, we don't have a lot of time to think about it. we got to get ready for toss, but, yeah. you know, that's what you know that's our sixth uh, fifth ranked opponent in a row uh, and they're all really good and uh, you know when you play a bad quarter you end up losing to good opponents and so you know, we had a bad fourth quarter Coach, you uh, were pretty happy with the faceoffs at half when you talked to uh, Greg. What changed there in the second half as they brought Sasso back in, and, and how do you improve that moving well, forward? I don't think he did anything. I think they outscrapped us. You know, I mean, they're all 50 50 balls, and we got outscrapped there. And now Lito's sick today, not having him really hurt in the wings. He was sick, and we missed another one of our D middies who had the flu. So we had two guys out that play for us a lot. And we, but that's not, not an excuse. You know, they were out, and we have, to be, we have to do better. And we had the next guy up, and, you know, we have to do things a little bit better there. And that's what we have to coach him up better and do things. And But they played a lot of motion when they got in the role. You know, they did. They did what you're supposed to do. And so then and, and, uh, we just couldn't get the breaks we needed. Yeah, Coach, and obviously, you know, Kyle Donofrio had a great game. Uh, he's, a, he's definitely a special player. He's playing great all year. You know, what do we got to do on offense? You know, what, do, what do you think you have to do to get other guys involved, to get other guys to kind of get the same kind of impact as far as being their guy and creating offense? Well, I think our attack's got to play much better. You know, I think they're not doing the job they need to be. They got to rotate more. They got to move more. We're just not getting the production or the things out of Watson. You know, he's, he's doing a good job, but, you know, we need Wade and we need JT to do much better things. Maybe get Tyler on there more. So, you know, we, they got to play better. You know, I think our midfielders are doing a really good job. They, I think our attack's got to get much better. Coach, you mentioned Tufts Tuesday night, but before we go to that, just putting some finishing touches on the Mustang Classic in general. I yeah. know you would have been much happier coming out of it with two wins, but the event itself, another huge success, another great couple yeah. of days here at Stevens. Yeah, I think it's great. You know, I mean, it's great for Division of the Cross. We're happy with all the games. They all went pretty well for the most part. They're all pretty close for the most part, and I think it really did a great light shining the light on uh, Division Three lacrosse. You know, a ton of publicity. We love that. I thank all the coaches that come in. I think they, they were all ecstatic about it, and so they're the ones that really make it happen and all the fans that come uh, we had great attendance all weekend it was really really great and uh, you know we can't be happier how it went so I mean for that part it couldn't be more exciting you know it's, Dickinson had a great just showed their toughness today after a terrible loss yesterday to come back and beat RIT and I thought Amherst bounced back well Lynchburg showed even though they didn't win you know us and you know didn't win uh, they didn't win any games I thought they played, showed really well you uh, know you know and uh, so but this is what tournament's about you know you got six ranked teams seven ranked teams and you know you don't show up for a quarter against a good team you lose, and that's kind of what happened today. Coach, appreciate taking the time. We'll see you on Tuesday night. All right, appreciate it.